What's going on everybody? Welcome to Cafe and Views. Today we went to Verve Coffee and we got their special, the Missile. Just like the previous coffee shop, this coffee shop also provided a wide range of different experiences. It was a lot different than the other basic coffee shops. This coffee shop, you were able to sit outside, go outside, chill on the table, go on your laptop, do any work that you need to while you're drinking the coffee. And then on the inside, they have an extensive menu. The menu expands across the wall in the back. And there's also a lot of different options for food that you can choose. There's also different coffees that you can get as well. And there's a lot of seating that you can choose. And the coffee shop is pretty large as well. A lot of coffee shops that we've been to, they're pretty small. Let's talk about acidity. Right off the bat, I'm getting strong fruit. You know, it's giving me a real strong sweetness right off the bat. You can definitely detect that artificial sweeteners or a lot of sweet ingredients went into making this coffee. You don't really get to choose what kind of milk you can add. It's kind of what they give you. It's half and half. Because it's such a sweet coffee, it's giving me more of a sharp, sensation in my mouth it's not mellow or smooth like other tame coffees would be usually coffees that are right in the middle point give off that mellow vibe i'm not getting the sour fruity notes like citrus or lemon i'm getting more of like a blueberry strawberry raspberry type of fruity note for acidity i'm gonna put this coffee at about a 2.5 out of 5. next up is gonna be aroma Right off the bat, you get a strong, sweet aroma. It's pretty pleasant, but it's not giving me unique smells. No ingredient from this coffee is really sticking out. It just smells like a sweet, pleasant coffee. It smells like a coffee that you were to put sugar or sweetener in it, and you get that nice, sweet aroma. So the taste and the aroma go hand in hand. You get exactly what you're smelling when you taste it, and vice versa. When you're smelling it, you can actually get the sweetness on your taste buds can in a way taste the coffee just by smelling it. I'm not getting any extra aroma. I'm just getting a nice fruity sweet coffee. You don't really have to lean into this coffee to get that nice aroma. You can be an arm's length away and still get that same sweet pleasant aroma that you would get if you just put your nose straight into the coffee. It kind of smells as if there's a lot of ingredients. It doesn't really smell like a sweetened coffee. It smells like there was something extra added to it that's giving it that extra kick in terms of aroma. For aroma, I'm gonna give this coffee a four out of five. Next up is gonna be flavor. Like aroma, you're getting the same flavor as aroma. Whatever you're smelling, you're getting 100% the same when you're tasting it. If you're good at detecting ingredients, you can pinpoint the same exact ingredients when you're tasting it. Nothing is hidden or exaggerated in the aroma that's not in the flavor. Because you're getting an identical duplicate, for flavor, the aroma is enhancing the flavor in a big way. If the aroma was different than the flavor, it would kind of throw it off and the flavor just wouldn't be the same. Although the aroma and the flavor are the same, I would say that this coffee is kind of forgettable. You're not really gonna remember it. There's no ingredients that is gonna stand out that's gonna make you think you should go and get it again. It's a good coffee, but it's just a typical forgettable coffee. Although it's sweet, and I typically say that sour coffees are more forgettable. I'm gonna put this sweeter coffee in that category. For flavor, I'm gonna put this coffee at about a 3.5 out of five. Next up is gonna be body. This coffee has a soda consistency. It's more so on the lower spectrum of soda. It's maybe one or two notches right above water, but it does coat your mouth. It does stick to your taste buds. It does provide a nice coating inside your mouth, so it's not dry or anything like that. Although it does coat your tongue and your taste buds, it doesn't provide a heavy weight. It doesn't make you feel like your tongue is being weighed down by something. And it's also not really giving a texture like the previous coffee, the rose latte. I'm detecting the beans that are rich in this coffee. When coffee is sour and bitter, it does give a depiction that the beans are not roasted the right way or they're not roasted for a good length of time. I'm getting a good vibe that the beans in this coffee were roasted properly because of the shop. You don't really have to go off the taste. You can just look at the shop and look at how many people are there, look how clean it is and you're gonna get a good depiction on how they treat the beans and how they treat making the coffee. It's not just for profit, they actually like making the coffee and they 
take pride in how the beans are for body. I'm gonna put this coffee at about a 2.5 out of five. Next up is gonna be sweetness. This coffee is not super sweet, like a caramel macchiato, but it is on the higher spectrum of sweetness. Because there was a lot of added sugars and a lot of additives to this coffee, I can't really tell if this coffee was a dark roast or a light roast. Because all I'm getting is a sweet coffee, I'm not getting any flavors that are sweet or any natural flavors in this coffee that provide that natural sweetness. I'm getting more of an artificial sweetness. But in any case, I'm going to give sweetness about a 4 out of 5. Next up is going to be aftertaste. Since it's sweet, it is going to coat your mouth and provide it like a wet feeling. It's not going to dry out your mouth like a bitter and sour coffee. The coffee is smooth and sweet, but it doesn't really leave a trail. You can't really follow it from the beginning to the end. It's so consistent and it's the same all throughout that it's not really giving you a different kind of good trail. It's just a straight shot. The more I'm drinking this and the further I'm getting to it, I'm getting more of a milk consistency. It's sticking around and coating my tongue even more than it was before. Your taste buds are not telling you to keep drinking the coffee because it's so simply sweet. You're not really getting that urge to keep going into the coffee and keep drinking it. For aftertaste, I'm gonna put this at a 2.5 out of 5. Next up is gonna be complexity. The looks and the taste are pretty minimal. They're not complex in any way. You're not gonna taste this coffee and think to yourself that a lot went into it. The coffee was made pretty quickly. I ordered and in about 30 seconds to a minute. That's when I got my coffee. It was kind of pre-made. It must have gotten brewed ahead of time. It didn't get brewed in that moment. Overall, you're not getting a range of experiences. You're not getting presented with the complex, unique looking coffee. There's not you know, it doesn't change colors, it doesn't change flavors, the aroma stays the same. It doesn't provide you a range of roller coaster emotions when you're drinking it. It's just the same simple coffee that you can make at home all throughout. Although it does blend together real well, not too good, but it does blend together in a way where you can detect that it's a simple coffee. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's like right in the middle. For complexity, I'm gonna put this at a two out of five. Next up is gonna be balanced. The only thing that stands out is the sweetness in the coffee, you know, the added sugars that must have went into it. Previously, I was able to detect the milk because it was coating my tongue, but the more I'm drinking it and the more I'm getting towards the bottom where the ice and the water kind of sits, the less I'm getting that milk texture and consistency. It is smooth, it is consistent all throughout. Nothing stands out besides the milk in the middle. It doesn't alternate between sweet and sour like other coffees do. It maintains that sweetness from the beginning to the end. I wasn't getting any sips that were sour. It was all sweet. For balance, I'm gonna put this coffee at a four out of five. Next up is gonna be forgiveness. I'm not gonna forgive the lesser qualities in this coffee just because it's a simple coffee it's although it's sweet and sweeter coffees are my favorite i'm not going to forgive it this coffee could have done more in terms of complexity in terms of adding different flavors that enhanced your experience i was hoping for different kind of flavors when i was drinking it all that i got was just a sugary coffee nothing that stood out for forgiveness, I'm gonna put this coffee out of one out of five. Finally, versatility. Because nothing stands out, because it's simple, I am gonna say that this coffee is versatile. You can, you can pretty much get it any time during the day. You don't get that kick of espresso like a lot of bitter coffees do. It's sweet, so you can kind of pair this with you know food that you're eating. It's not gonna enhance your mood overall when you're drinking it. A lot of complex coffees do because of the flavor and the aroma that changes how you think and how you perceive things. This coffee will not do that. For versatility, I'm gonna put this coffee at about a four out of five. Overall, the missile from Verve Coffee out of 30 out of 50, or about a 60% out of 100. Thank you so much for watching Cafe and Views where we went to Verve Coffee and we got the missile. Tune in next time to see where we're going next. Peace.